previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new method was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment. Greetings, tiny people. I am the admin. Sorry, that was probably really loud to your pathetic, tiny ears. What does that mean? What does it want? A uh, admin? Is it, what is that thing? I am beyond scared right now. Well, guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. Face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That's all rather suspicious, isn't it? Uh, everyone! Everyone! <clears throat> Hi! There's nothing to worry about. The giant Prismarine Colossus and I are going to work this out and everything can get back to normal. I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm alright with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure you must have thought of something. I hope you're right. Don't worry, everyone. I'm going to try talking to it. Okay, diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there, Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. There you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 oh. This is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the Sea Temple. Your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Me. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk. Let's fight. 
hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Ooh, he's powerful. <sighs> so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> 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 Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger. Like, uh, like the structure block. Bye time. I'm going to plant some arrow towers. That should make Tall, Dark, and Ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse. Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh! Let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could pick my teeth with that blade. I'll take you on one block at a time! <laughs> Distraction, Jesse. The where's the structure block? Ha <laughs> ha! Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. I guess the giant colossus did follow me home. Oh, hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. Soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ah! Ah, there we are. All right, Admin. You want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> Hey, rock face! Eat this! Lucas! Good to see you too. Yes. What is that? Quick version? The admin. He like built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas! You just saved my life! Thank you! Of course! <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle! <laughs> I sure hope you've got an idea here! I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You can't Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Oh. 
Calm now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. All right, Meryl. Let's see what you got. hey -ya! Done that, admin. Oh boy! Do you really think you can defeat me? I don't think! I know! <laughs> Confidence! The mark! Of a true hit. That was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, so did the googly sister! Oh man, those are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? <sighs> you make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. Yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually, <clears throat> actually, I'll volunteer. Help. 
Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. It got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. No, it, it was like a... I feel terrible, I'm sorry. And, uh... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. No, I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Peaches. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they... All just start to blur together after a while. Hey guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah, um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. 
It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Boss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <laughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about uh, for some day uh, far off. Uh, yeah. yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar, but you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. <sighs> yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on, I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Huh. Okay. okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. That's why we were, um, being weird before and, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. That's cool, I guess. Is this really that important to you? I... yes, kind of. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait. You're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Hold up. That was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me. You're gonna love it! Huh? Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. They don't stand a chance, Admin. I'm going to stop each and every one of your monsters. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it! I really do. Ahem. Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. Dimple, just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm going to get that clock. And then, you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is going to be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, oh, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember? Find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ugh, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide, everyone!
I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. Oh, and now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone. We've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Mm. Mm. I promise. I will come back. Mm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Mm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. Block this up after we leave, would ya? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. Oh. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. Stay close. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know... find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially... because I was worried that you that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas... Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I think we both know that you're the only one that can find the answer to that, Petra. Yeah, I know. Just wish existential crises came with maps, you know? that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. Little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. 
Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my nemesis. I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella. The leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Doc, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. You are just... wow! Just absolutely delusional. Am I, or is that just what you want me to think? For the love of... We're chasing the bad guy that did it! You really think Jesse has the power to do something like this? All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. Too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa. Boone is... stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit. Just eye on you. You know I'm trying to find my own path, but does it really have to have Stella on it? Okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey! Found the clock! Oh, perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the ad mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. How the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. That's not how my world works, Stella. There are more important things than who has the most power. Huh, I wonder who he would agree with. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so do. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come on, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah. And I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No thing. Oh 
Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. Many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not. Uh, how do I say this? Losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir. I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. Admin, I gotta ask. Sorry if it's rude. But what gives you the right to do any of this? Um, my near-infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creature, my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but... Only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. So... I'm here to save my town. Well, of course you are, because you're a hero. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, 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 I am just... Ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Stella on. The admin is dangerous enough as it is. Let's not add to that by fighting with each other. Oh, Jesse. That sort of reverse psychology isn't going to work on me. Especially not for my own rival. I... Seriously? It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. All is that I don't trust anything the admin says. Uh, I'd agree with that. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. Hey now. Oh, that poor llama. Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Well, 
That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it. Just uh, stating facts. We're all together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they, they look at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arm, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... <clears throat> I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! It's like Jesse said. We can't trust the admin. Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. I'm going with them. Be safe, okay? Okay. Let's ride! strange woman and her llama go? No idea. I wanted to see if it really had the treasure-sniffing power she said it did. I guess we got separated during that crazy roller coaster ride. This place is nuts. Yeah, no kidding. I'm not complaining about less time with Stella, but I hope that we can find Radar and Lucas again after we get the clock. Anything can happen to them. They're not exactly the most warrior-ish, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hopefully they come out the other side all right.
Yeah, I hope so too. Well, I'm just psyched to have you with us, Jesse. Just like old times, right? Well, I'm guessing none of your old times had you up against a villain as powerful as the admin, though. That guy is crazy powerful. And just plain crazy. <laughs> no kidding! He puts any of our old foes to shame. We beat him once already. Everything has a weakness, Jack. Even the admin. Wolf is. Uh, you could be right. Still not a reason to start getting sloppy now. <sighs> Feels like the Seed Temple all over again. Yeah, I was feeling that too. Don't like it. I don't like anything this guy builds. Everything's decorated with dread and garnished with doom. We got out of the Sea Temple in one piece. Well, some of us left a piece or two behind. We'll be fine, Jack! I hope. Oh, it is great to see you in here. My favorite group. True story. And I just know you're gonna demolish this room. It's simple. <laughs> All you need to do is find your way out. So we have to escape the room. I guess you could put it that way. You won't get any hints from me, though. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. They all... Ugh. My town's in danger, and you're playing games. It's all games, champion. Winning, losing, that's what life's all about. Now, once you figure that out, you'll be much happier. All right. It's time to get this proverbial party started. I am very excited to see how you do. Petra! Don't worry, they're right there. Now, will you be able to get them back out is the question. You just can't stop putting me in cages, can you? Oh, <laughs> you, you are a riot. <laughs> No, really? <laughs> Farewell now, and uh, uh, good luck! <laughs> okay, escape time. Any ideas, Jack? Of course I do. Plenty. This was the treasure that Llama was after. One puzzle at a time, Jesse. What you got back there? I, I think it's supposed to be a cobweb, but half the blocks are missing. Half creeper, half spider. Charming. approach the ice, I get cursed. Some kind of mining fatigue, I think. Ow! I suppose this contraption holds some kind of clue. Any thoughts on how to get through the ice?
what you got back there? I, I think it's supposed to be a cobweb, but half the blocks are missing. Eat. I have a torch. Oh, that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? And it worked. Here you go, Jesse. These should help. should fill up the spots in the floor. All right, hold on. Think these are for you. Thanks. Man, now I just wish Lucas was with us too. Bummer that radar was being so... Ugh, with... Come on, you, you think we can move this along? Time's a-wasting. I mean, like, literally. That clock is still up there. Hey, we're gonna get out of this, okay? I know, I just... This place isn't exactly, uh... My speed. By which I mean, it's... Too slow. I mean, I almost have this thing figured out. It's all in the planning. I just, uh... Gotta plan a little more. as perfect as a creepy statue can get. Way to go, Jesse. I knew you'd figure it out. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you did all right. Of course, um, I had it figured out right from when we all walked into the room, but uh, geez, I, uh, 
the puzzle builders of Winding Ridge had puzzles like this all over the place. Couldn't walk through a door without uh, building a statue. <laughs> right, Voss? You know, it's funny, but I don't seem to remember that particular adventure. Something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Gotta be part of what unlocked the door. What's missing? It's a pattern. Ugh. Who would fill a chest with spider eyes? sensor. But those only work if there's sunlight. Let's see. It was for a daylight sensor. I totally know how to use one of those. Give it here. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Com I uh, just need a sec to put the uh, words together. Let me handle this so I can actually get us out of here. Come on, Jesse. What? I thought it should be working. Problems, Jesse? We don't have time for problems. Give me a minute. So nice. Boss! Ah! Let's, let me down! Ah! Boss, no! We are leaving! Jack, come on! Boss, I let you down, buddy. Again. We could have helped him. You could have saved him. Now he'll be trapped. Jack, I tried. He was just... too far. Maybe you try a little harder next time. Hey, come on, both of you. Lucas! Radar? Lucas, where's Radar? <sighs> the room. It was too much for us. I mean, there were arrows and snowballs flying everywhere. Jesse, I did the best I could, but... No, no, 
no, no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but... Radar needs us. Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. You have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people, wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like this guy. There is no way he would have made it out if you weren't giving him the intellectual assist. You cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. He is any of us. He has just as much right to be here. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. A one condition, though. Get off me, you dang! Oh, man. Not good! No! Not good! Ah! No! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are? Without... Chase. You... told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna! If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! That sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. going up then our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no the admin comes back and finds out we broke his stuff. Yeah, there's no telling how long we have before the admin figures out what we've done. He's gonna be, like, really, really mad. Yeah, no kidding. Like I care. 
wait to see the look on his stupid snowman face when he sees we've beaten him. Huh. That is truly, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's a bold stance, Jesse. Bold is one word for it. Hey, look! <laughs> Jesse! Woo! I don't see Voss, though. We're coming to save you! You better keep my llama safe. Especially from those. Especially from... Oh, more of the admin's freaky mobs. of the Ender Creeper things. And I still see Voss. We're gonna have to divide and conquer here, people. One of you go for the clock, one of you come with me and Lucas to rescue the others. Guys, we're running out of time here. Jack, we need our best guy on that clock. And you're him, buddy. Do it for Nerm. Right. But you better find Voss. We will. Be careful, okay? I trained with the TNT jugglers of Tristy Cove. Careful is the only way I know. Luna? Sweetie? <laughs> Smart llama. Luna! But... But why? Jesse, coming to my rescue. Just like I dreamt it. I'm just so glad you're okay. I was worried. Ha! Huh, yeah, you and me both. Ah, Jesse. I wanna hurry. You've got monsters incoming. Like those. Come on, Rita. We gotta get you out fast. Okay. Okay, okay.
Mohandari fish chasers? No. Ah. Then I won't bother, because it wasn't half as impressive as this. <clears throat> Not to interrupt all the celebrating, but escaping? I can't leave without Voss. Go ahead, guys. We'll catch up. Just... just hurry, okay? I don't like worrying about you. What's your angle? Waiting around for the admin? I need to find him. Don't worry, Jack. I'm gonna help you. Me too. Thank you. Well, this is a little... disappointing. Voss! Oh, I tried. I really, really did. I... How did you get here, Voss? Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I, I just don't understand you. Letting your friends go. Jack supposed to prove himself, but you just... just coddled him. Every step of the way. Losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Boss, friend, what are you doing? Hang on. I've heard that before. Of course you have. Saying it the whole time. <laughs> Not this body, of course, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You... Don't! He's the admin. Oh, you are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am! Voss. The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend. Partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. I just can't believe it. You tricked us! You seriously think that's the way to make friends? And it was kind of exciting, right? Sort of a surprise reveal? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Stella, I don't know if you've noticed, but what he's offering is absolutely crazy. You can't really mean this. Oh, but I do, Jesse. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this paragon is offering. Ah, oh, uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? Oh, that's adorable. They're mad they got manipulated. I should be mad that I had to waste all that time looking like that crusty old adventurer. I gave you so many chances! It's waste. No, no. You might not be worthy. What? Technically, Jack here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No, you can't. Ooh, Jack! Where did he go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Jack! No! 
Shh. I said, not for you guys to worry about. Let's... let's be reasonable now. Ugh. You really are just hopeless! I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever. Again. No! Must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, 
It's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either. <laughs>